Hello and welcome to a video on the basics of MicroMesh. In this video I want to show how we can take this sphere, these polygons, and replace them with this diamond gemstone that was created inside ZBrush. So let's begin by selecting our polysphere and towards the bottom of our tool palette we have our display properties. I'm going to click that open and select on MicroMesh. You can see that our tool pop-up menu opens up. I'm going to click the diamond to let ZBrush know that I would like to replace all the polygons with that gem. You also need to turn on, in render properties, the draw micromesh. So with this on, let's go ahead and take a render and see what we get. You can see in this finished BPR render, what ZBrush has done is replaced the polygons from the sphere with the gems. Keep in mind when you are using micromesh that the number of polygons that you have for your micromesh will play a factor to the number of polygons that is on our sphere. For example, if a sphere had 10 polygons and you had a million polygon micromesh, you'd actually be asking ZBrush to render out 10 million polygons. Thank you for watching this video and please continue to watch more on Pixelogic.com.